Next, we look at this little bump. That's the azagous vein. It's a vein that runs up superior and inferior, and when it reaches, comes over the, the bronchus and drains like a little arch straight into the SVC. So, if we're looking from the front, we see that little bump there, which causes the reason why we see it on a chest X-ray. And it drains from the back. And then we will fade away, go to the CT scan, peel back, peel back, the right atrium's in front. You can see the superior vena cava in the back. And as we cut to the back, you can see that little round circle. That's the arch of the azagous vein. We will rotate around and you can see that the azagous vein makes a little arch that dumps into the superior vena cava. The rest of it uh, is not well seen here. This contrast, which is what's making the superior vena cava white, is showing up well. It's refluxing backward into the azagous vein. The rest of the azagous vein is not as pacified. What do we have here? We have this abnormal contour in the region of the azagous vein. Normally, in most cases, that would probably be some sort of mass or adenopathy like we had in the previous patient. But we peel back, we have a CT scan, we overlay, we peel back, and we can see that that big round area has contrast material in it, and it's a dilated azagous vein. This patient had Bud Chiari, which caused no drainage to the hepatic veins. Because of that, the drainage to the azagous vein was bigger. Here you can see that this azagous vein drains into the SVC. The SVC is very white. And if you look, you can see the rest of the azagous vein sort of running sort of anterior to the spine there. That looks nice. We overlay the lateral, and you can even see on the lateral the sort of the bump of the azagous vein right where it was.